Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video today. I'm going to show you guys the books that I'm planning on reading this September. And September is a really hectic month for me, a month that is sort of like just, oh my god, my life is going to change this month. So I'm going to start school at the University of Utrecht, which is one really big thing that's changing. I'm not going to high school anymore. I'm going to study biomedical sciences there. So yeah, that's already a really big thing that's different. I'm also going to live on my own. So that is also a really, really big change. I do hope that I'll be able to sort of keep up with my uploading schedule that I've had for the past couple of weeks because I am really enjoying myself here just making all of these videos to just sort of keep this month a little bit more chill. I'm only picking four books that I'm gonna read this month. Hopefully, I really want to keep up with reading. So I am really hoping that this is doable for me. So the first book that I want to finish in September is the book that I'm currently reading, and that is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. If you guys haven't seen my August wrap-up, I would highly recommend you do so. Uh, after reading A Monster Calls, I didn't really know in what kind of mood I was like do I want to read contemporary or fantasy because those two genres are my faves and then I sort of I just picked this one up on a whim so at first I thought that this was like fantasy but this is actually historical fiction so this is my first historical fiction book ever and I've read half of it in August and I'm really liking this book it's not that I'm like I don't feel like it's really living up to the hype, to be honest, but it's just a lot of fun. Mackenzie Lee's writing style is so easy to get through. Like, I'm reading this in such a fast-paced way every time that I'm picking this book up. So our main character is Monty, and he is bisexual, and he goes on this really, really grand tour before he's gonna do what his father is doing. And he's doing this really, like, grand traveling tour with his best friend, Percy, who is secretly kind of in love with and it's just a ton of fun. Until so far, I give it like a 3.75, a 4 out of 5 stars because it is really good, um, but I just, maybe the other half of the book will be even better and my mind will be blown. Next up, I have a book that I really wanted to read in August, but I, I definitely need to pick it up this month, like definitely. And that is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. I still haven't finished the series and I've been meaning to for a year and a half and I've been saying that for like a year and a half that I need to pick this up like so badly so I keep disappointing myself and the people around me. I wanted to read this in August because yesterday on September 1st it was 19 years later you know in this book and I really wanted to have finished the book by then so that I would sort of feel like the story ended in the now, you know, but yeah, I failed. So I definitely need to pick this up this month. It is really big, it's like 500 and something pages in the Dutch edition, and I'm watching the movies with my dad again, and I've been promising him to read the book so many times. And I sort of also want to read something familiar, but unfamiliar at the same time, because I haven't read the seventh Harry Potter book in my entire life. But reading Harry Potter always makes me feel at home, and then maybe when I'm not at home here, but in my dorm, I will feel more at ease while reading this. So that is my plan, and I really hope that I'm gonna stick to it right now this month. Book number three is Wonder by RJ Palacio. Palacio, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I bought this book in uh, Maastricht, which is a very big Dutch city, with Joni, who is an awesome girl. She has an amazing bookstagram, plus she makes her own like bookmarks and prints and she sells them on Etsy and she even gave me two of her little bookmarks which are gonna be new in her shop. These are like made with fabric and they are so adorable. So I have this world map right here which is really really pretty and then I have an Expecto Patronum one. So she sells these in her Etsy shop so I will leave a link to her shop and her bookstagram in the description down below so you guys can check her out because she is so sweet. We had a lovely day in Maastricht. We went to their giant bookstore there and that's where I bought this one. I know that um, there's gonna be a movie of this book and it's coming really really soon and Joni said that this is like one of her favorite books like she just loved it so much and it's like only 300 pages it's about this uh kid who is like physically uh his, like his face is misformed if i may say that i just don't know the correct word and you follow his story like in school how people sort of just look at him in weird ways and i don't know joni just said that you love this book and that's all that i need to know and then the last book that i want to read this september is a study in charlotte by Brittany cavallero i don't know what this series is called but this is the first book in a trilogy and the second book came out 
a couple of months ago and I believe that the cover for the third book is out. I just don't know when that book will actually release. I am obsessed with Sherlock. I mean, I watched the series last year, but I re-watched all four seasons last month with my dad and I'm just so obsessed again and I just need something Sherlock related. So I hope that this will sort of like give me that satisfaction because I just, mm. Oh my god, Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman are a match made in heaven. This is not like really a story about Sherlock and Watson, but their descendants and this takes place I believe in a boarding school where a murder happens and like the descendants of Watson and Holmes are gonna solve the crime, I think. So those are the four books that I really want to read in September. At least, oh my god, if I finish one book, I'm gonna be so happy, but I wish that I will be able to read more. Let me know in the comments down below what books you are planning on reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. You guys can also follow me on Goodreads, Bookstagram, my personal Instagram, Snapchat, and I even have an email address, so links to that will be also somewhere in the description down below and just do with it whatever you want. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!